everything in here is fogged up. It's a Try three. First day, we tried to go. Had a fever. Oh. Got the COVID Five test. Days. Felt good the next day. Yeah. Left, got to Denver, got the COVID test back as positive. Came home. Isolation for 10 days for me, 14 days for I'm everybody like else. <laughs> so here we go, try three. Jade and I are headed out. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to explain a little bit about this COVID that you heard me talk about. It came out of nowhere, literally. Nobody that I was around had it. Uh, I got a fever on Thursday, just as we were getting ready to leave. And, you know, I sort of felt it and I was like, ah, you know, I don't feel good. And we got to thinking about who I'd been around and we were checking and nobody, nowhere, no COVID. Um, so April and I went to go get a test. So I went to town, I took the test. By the time we got back, I was already feeling somewhat better. And so we just said, okay, well let's wait today and we'll go tomorrow. Not a big deal, it's one day. We had plenty of time built in. So we waited Friday, we got up, I felt great. I had a, felt normal, I should say. And so we said, hey, let's go. We got in the truck and we headed out and we drove, golly, uh, <laughs> golly. We, we drove like 12 hours because uh, we had to stop and get a tire in Wichita for Jaden's truck. And we got all the way to just outside of Denver and stopped for the night. Now out of an abundance of caution, I rode by myself in the truck the whole time. Nobody rode with me, felt good, no problems. Got up on the next day drove into Denver, and as we were pulling into the Ikea parking lot, I get a call, it's the Payne County Health Department that says, hey, you've got COVID positive, you need to isolate for 10 days, and those that you've been in close contact with have to be in, ice, in uh, quarantine for 14 days, because there's apparently two different things. So, we sat in the truck, we talked it out, we said, let's, well, guess what, let's just go home, we'll ride this thing out, and then we'll go afterwards. And so that's where we find ourselves, on our way to Montana for the third try. Well, and then we're going to deliver her <laughs> to Fresh Life Leadership College in Kalispell, Montana. So, here we go. Let's see what happens. Okay, so I don't normally do this, but I figured I might give some clarification as to what's going on here. So, Jaden is going to Kalispell, Montana to be a part of a unique opportunity with Fresh Life Church. So it's sort of school, but it's sort of not school. So she's going, she's going to live there, she's going to work slash intern at the church, she's taking her school online. And so this is a great opportunity for her to go and actually get some experience in the profession in which she wants to work. We're in the truck. Here we go. Man, everything in here is fogged up. It's so cold. Yeah, the AC works pretty good. I don't know if the heater works. <laughs> the heater works. You better hope the heater works. Stopped to get a little bite to eat. 
Everything seems to be going pretty well. The old truck's running pretty smoothly. Well, we were pulling out of the parking lot. I'm sure it was just mad at us driving this car. So, but we're, uh, like I said, we're at Hayes, Kansas. And we've got about uh, 450, 500 miles to go. So, we're going to get back to it. What? <laughs> what have we been listening to? Yeah, is that all? I am John Gray, Preach from Cut Orange Revival in 2015. before you figure in gas stops and all that other stuff. Okay, thinking about the clock, 8.30 to 8.30 is how many hours? 12 hours. 8.30 to 8.30 is 12 hours. So 8.30 to... <laughs> thank you. She's a college My student, My brain doesn't process numbers. <laughs> like so many people can do math in their head and they say they can see the numbers and put everything... I can't do that. Yeah? You can see the clock. You know what a clock looks like? Yeah. That's how I do it. I don't think about the clock. The amount of times that I've had to read like an actual clock. It was a bunch in high school. Because they had clocks in the room. Right? Well, they weren't like circle clocks. They okay, had digital so. Clocks. I what? never looked at the clock whenever I was in like intermediate school. What's your favorite kind of clock then? Digital or uh, analog? I don't care. I don't like the ones with Roman numerals on them. You don't? You don't like the ones with Roman numerals? Why? Because I get four and five mixed up. But you know where they show up on a clock, right? Yeah. So how do you, how do you get them backwards? They still go up the same order, but it still confuses me. Four and five, so I, V, V, and six, V, I? Roman numerals. Should we like, still use them? Should we not like use five, them? I feel like five, four should not be IV or VI. IV is four. Whatever. It's like nine is IX, ten yeah. is X, and eleven is XI. That's confusing because <laughs> there's more. Oh, well, my brain doesn't process it. <laughs> Roman numerals can be annoying. Okay, so the, the question is, Roman numerals or no Roman, no Roman numerals? We're coming up on Denver here at about 50 miles. Once we get into Denver, we're going to find a place to eat dinner. And then we're going to keep on trucking for Casper, Wyoming. Should be about another three hours from there. So it's a long day in the truck, but it's been productive so far. A little red, I guess that's what we're calling it. Do you have a name for the truck? Okay, so Little Red is doing its job so far. We're very thankful for that. Zoom, but you can see maybe the wildfires here in Colorado behind me. We just stopped north of Denver. Not sure where we are, but this is just smoke up above us. It's pretty crazy. We thought it was rain earlier, but it's not a rain, it's smoke. So 
this is pretty crazy wildfire behind us. I know that Colorado struggled. Hopefully, they can get it under control soon. Yeah, sky. Where? You can see Oh, yeah. Uh, it's all over the world. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> We're going to go get a bite to eat and then we will be back on our way. So we'll see you soon. Okay, so there's no more footage after dinner because the sun went down and you can't really shoot a whole lot in the middle of Wyoming after the sun goes down because I'm going to tell you something. It's dark. I've learned something about myself in these recent days and that is on travel days, I tend to bite off a little too much. So we end up driving for 12, 14, and in the case of this trip, 16 hours in a day. It's hard to get um, any sightseeing, any, any thought or, or, or any sort of picture of what it is that's going on around you because I'm like, hey, we can drive a thousand miles in a day, no problem. And when you do the math and you put it all together, it ends up being way more time in the vehicle than what I thought. We're gonna pick up tomorrow where we started in Casper, Wyoming and drive all the way into Kalispell, Montana. We did just over 1,600 miles in two days. It was a long, long trip.